All right, hello everyone. So uh, for now, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be uploading the script that we made so that it would show automatically on the page where the, um, basically when a sales order uh, opens, we want to show that page uh, or we wanna show that uh, confirmation uh, message. So the first thing we want to do with, with every script is we want to first go into customization and then we have scripting. So most of your scripting work is going to be done over here. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to go in scripting and then we want to go in scripts. So if we just click on scripts here, it's going to show us a list of all the different scripts that are available or that, or, uh, that are available within this account. Now, this doesn't mean that all these scripts are being used. It just means that they exist. And then the next step, once we create it, we want to deploy a script on a certain record. Okay, so uh, what we want to do here is we want to first create the script. So this is basically what it's doing is that it's creating a script record within NetSuite. Okay, so we want to do new script. And then it's going to show us this page here, where the script file. So what we want to do is if we already have the script in our file cabinet, then we can select it from here. Uh, but if we don't, what we want to do is we want to click this plus icon. Okay, so we're going to click here plus and it's going to show us this page. So what we want to do is we want to choose a file from our computer. And then it's going to display a page or the file file explorer for you. So wherever you save the script in the first video, you want to come in here and you want to select it. Okay. All right, so that's all you need. You don't need to define a name because the name will be the name of the file itself. Now, there's a lot of people who get this error when they do not do .js at the end because uh, SweetScript needs the file to have .js. So if you happen to rename the file here, okay, you can write here test file, uh, you know, whatever name you name it. There's a lot of people who do this and then they click save, but the script will never work. So this is a really important caveat that's going to really um, make you lose your mind. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, just do .js at the end here so you don't get any error. Otherwise, you can just leave it empty and it will just take the name of the file. Okay, so what we want to do here, we want to save. So what we did right now is we just uploaded the file and then what we want to do is it's going to redirect us to the old page and we're going to do create script record. Okay, so now that we created, uploaded the script, we want to give it a name. So what we want to do here is we want to actually say uh, the actual name of the file. Uh, this doesn't need to have JS at the end here. Okay, so this you can, you can even do the same name if you want to um, or you can have something else. It's up to you. Uh, I'm just going to keep it the same name here because it's just convenient. And that's all you want to do right now. Okay. So what we're doing here is we're just going to save. And this is just creating a script record for us. Now, again, this does not mean that this script is actually executing anywhere. Because notice, we didn't even uh, deploy it on every record, right? So it doesn't know where is it going to execute. So if you look here, you're going to see because we already uh, defined um, at the top of our script, what version is it using? It's 2.0. So here you see right away, it tells you it's 2.0. And then the script automatically tells you this is a page init function. Okay. So notice this is a client side script. It could have multiple events within the same type of script. So we could write one script that would do a function on the page init, and then you would do a save record and maybe a validate line and a sublist change, whatever it is you want to do, you can actually, um, do all of them in the same script. It's going to be a very big script, but you can do it that way. Okay. Uh, you can always click on edit here if you want, and you can actually edit the script right away within NetSuite directly. Okay. So this is convenient if you want to do any small modifications, um, or you can, if you do a huge modification on your computer, you can just copy and then paste it over here uh, for the updated version. Okay. Now, Notice that if we go in deployments here, we see there is nothing because this has not been deployed yet. So it's not really in effect right now. Okay. What we can do is we can now deploy this script. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here on deploy script. Okay. And what it's going to do actually is it's going to create a new record for deployment. Okay. So with it here, the first thing you want to do is it's going to tell you what type of script. It knows the script because we created the record. Now what we want to do is we want to specify where does this get applied to, right? So we can do all the different types. And you can see here, you have all the different types of records within the system and you can deploy it too, okay? Uh, notice that you always have, you're going to have to create a single deployment 
per record type, right? So I can come in here, I can say sales order, and I'm gonna deploy this to a sales order. And then if I wanna deploy the same script on a purchase order as well, I'm gonna create a new uh, deployment for the same script, but it will be done on the purchase order, okay? So a same script or a script record can have multiple deployments. Each deployment will go to a different record. All right, so we first specify where does it go to. Now we can specify what is the audience, okay? So we, we sometimes we want to write a certain script that would do certain logic, but we, won't, we don't want the script to apply to everyone. So what we, want to, what we can do here is we can specify this is going to apply to certain roles or to certain subsidiaries or to certain employees. Uh, we can specify that, you know, whoever the employee might be. All right, now what's important here is the status. We have testing and we have released. Okay, so testing means that this script will only apply to the owner, which in this case, it's me. So whatever logic I'm going to be doing here, even if I say it's going to apply to all roles, all employees, all subsidiaries, it's not going to, because in testing, it only shows to me. If anyone else opens the sales order, they're not going to be seeing this. Okay, once I do a release, then actually other people will be able to experience whatever I wrote for them. Okay. Um, this you don't have to worry about right now, but what I would recommend is the log level is just to keep it always on debug. Uh, later on, if you want to just not get any debugs, you can just do only on error. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave it at debug. Okay, you don't need to specify any other information. Uh, for now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to save. And this is basically all we're going to be doing. So right now, we created a script record, and then we created a script deployment record. That's all you need. Now let's take a, a look at our sales order. Let's see how that looks like. So if I open here a sales order, I'm gonna wait a few seconds. And then here we go. So now I see a message right away on my sales order on the page in it, and this will actually show me, and you see it hit after five seconds because we specified 5,000 milliseconds, or means five seconds. OK, um, that's basically all you need to do to deploy a certain script. Now, if we do any more modifications, we can always go back to the script. So if I go in scripting scripts and I'm going to find the script that we just made and I'm going to say uh, here, if we do filter and we write a, you know, something that came from no bundles. It's going to be only ours. So ours came from no bundle here and I can always view the script and then I can just edit and change whatever I need to change on the script. Okay, that's all you need to do. And then every time you save, it's just going, oh, it's already deployed. So again, the script, we can edit it. And then we can see here, it's deployed on a sales order only on the testing mode. So only I get to see what happens. Someone else within the same account logs in, they're not going to be seeing this uh, anymore. 